first track of the night I tell you tell you how with in your wheel the dust featuring Akka Khan. You know what I'm saying? Big shout out to Akka Khan too, man, for, uh, you know what I'm saying? Just being, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? A good brother. But I want to shout out him because he just recently got out, you know what I'm saying? And, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully he stays out, you know what I mean? Hopefully he stays out of that situation, you know what I'm saying? So big shout out to him, man. But let's go ahead and get into it. He that have an ear. <laughs> Yeah, I already know what to put up in the chat. Y'all already know what to put up in the chat. Let them hear. Let's get it. You know, as I sit right here and reflect, I, you know, I'm playing a rack right now. Still currently locked up in the feds at the halfway yeah. house. And uh, as I reflect on the song, you just tell Wickedness within our heart is an illness. Mm. Heal me of this sickness I've caused. Got a bad addiction to love, and these people are drugs, and we fought a heart with jaws. Mm. Do heart surgery on me. Expose all the filth that I store. Disobedience got me way up beat. I can tell that we not on one accord. Take all distractions away. Mm. Put us in the dust if you have to. Yeah. Cause us to only lean on faith. We have everything if we have you. But I'll lose everything if I grab you. Mm. But that's a trade off that I'm fine with. The God of Israel who I align with. Detach from everything if you have to. Everything. Heavenly Father. Run it back, run it back, run it back. Okay. And uh, as I reflect on the song, you just. Tell. Wickedness within our heart is an illness. Heal me of this sickness I've caused. Got a bad addiction to love, and these people are drugs, and we fought a heart with jaws. Do heart surgery on me. Expose all the filth that I store. Disobedience got me way up beat. I can tell that we not on one accord. Take all distractions away. Put us in the dust if you have to. Cause us to only lean on faith. We have everything if we have you. But I'll lose everything if I grab you. But that's a trade off that I'm fine with. The God of Israel who I align with. Detached from everything if you have to. Right. Heavenly Father, I pray that you take it hey, off. Hey, sometimes, bro, sometimes you do have to detach from everything if you have to. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, like sometimes. Uh, cause like he was talking about like stuff being distractions to you. Sometimes it's a lot of distractions that's within our, uh, within our, um, life. You know what I'm saying? That stop us from doing the most highs will, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes you have to sever, sever ties with, you know what I'm saying? These things, whether it be family, whether it be friends, whether it be P, uh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the, the individuals maybe that you're around, whether it be certain type of music, whether it be, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, 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 certain type of hobbies, you know what I'm saying? That may take you away or distract you from the most high. You know what I'm saying? If you was really big into sports and sports is consuming your life to where you're not practicing and following the things of the most high because you're too consumed in that, take it away from you. You know what I'm saying? Utilize the opportunities that we have here. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? The most high, the most high woke us up. Don't, don't allow these distractions to lull us back to sleep. Everything if I grab you, but that's a trade off that I'm fine with. The God of Israel who I align with, detached from everything if you have to. Heavenly Father, I pray that you take it all from me. If it's not in your perfect will, then just take everything. Leaving me with nothing but your hand. The houses, the cars, the money, the marriage, the business, the success. I realized I can't love my will into yours. I love, hey, I love how you said that, bro. I realized I can't put my will into your will. Like, I was just having this conversation with this, uh, with uh, Take One last night, bro. You know what I'm saying? Big shout out to that brother. Uh, but I was having this conversation with him literally last night, where it's like you cannot, you like the, the most I gave us these uh gifts. You know what I'm saying? We cannot allow our spirits to just. Uh, do what we want to do with them. You know what I'm saying? Like, just because you got this gift don't mean that necessarily you need to use it in the way that you want to, but use it in the way that the most I want you to do it. You know what I'm saying? If, if you, if you have certain desires that's in your spirit and you know that these are your desires, don't go after your own desires. Don't go after your own lust. 
Go after what the father wants you to do. You know what I'm saying? Because guess what? You might think that it's going to be beneficial for you to go to towards your desires if it's aligned with the most high a little bit. You see what I'm saying? But the most high don't want you to just be aligned with him a little bit. He wants you to be fully engaged in what he wants you to do. You know what I'm saying? Exactly, exactly. Then different administrations. You know what I'm saying? It's like sometimes we think that, oh, this is where I'm fit at. But it's like, who told you that? Just because you got these type of skills that may fit in that category, what do the most I want you to do? You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes there's certain things that, like, like for instance, it might be somebody that's like really, uh, really patient, right? But they also might have a gift of, of let's say music, right? They might have a gift of music, but they're very patient. Would it, would, wouldn't it be better for you to be somebody that may have great conversations about music rather than um, making music? You know what I'm saying? And not to say that you have to put music on the back burner, but a lot of times we have to do those things because we got to think about the bigger picture. Every Everybody cannot be the hand. Everybody cannot be the leg. Everybody cannot be the foot. We have to take the skills that we have and utilize them to our best ability. Like for me, a lot of y'all know I can rap. I know how to make raps. You know what I'm saying? I know how to uh, get, you know what I'm saying? Crazy bars. But I also understand rap. I also understand how to break down bars because I have that gift. So I'm utilizing my gift within the music and knowledge and, and being able to break down things or, you know what I'm saying? To break down these for everybody else rather than making music. You see what I'm saying? And that was the sacrifice, a necessary sacrifice that needed to be made. But sometimes you just got to learn what the most high want from you. Ask, ask the most high what's your purpose for him, not for yourself, but for him. You know what I'm saying? A lot, that's where we need to learn. That's what we really need to learn. Keen into that. So, yeah, I like how he said, yo, it's, it's his will pretty much over our will. They leave me with nothing but your hand. Together. The houses, the cars, the money, the marriage, the business, the success. I realized I can't love my will into yours. Mm, so heavy. Uh, sit me in the dust. Sit us in the mouth if you must. Yeah, don't be the rich fool. Let the exactly. files of the yeah. air bear record. Mm. Exalt us in your will like Esther. <laughs> Let our loneliness impress her. Mm. Ye are the vine bearing life. Yeah. And we are the branch bearing fruit. The one who bears not gets removed. Mm. And the one who does still gets pruned. Mm. Finally in your will. Finally. Finally in your will. Finally. Finally in your will. Finally. 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 Uh. Finally, finally in your will. Finally, finally in your will. Finally, finally in your will. Finally, finally, finally. Because I'm a man doesn't mean I'm superior. Because she a woman don't mean she's ulterior. Because they're a mm. child doesn't mean they're voiceless. Everything your child does reflects you. They mirror us. The household oh, dynamic. that's bad. Look, hey, Taven. Hey, Taven talking on these records, bro. Just because I'm a man, that don't mean I'm superior. Just because she a woman don't mean she's exterior. Just because they a kid don't mean that they they can't have a voice. Like everything that they see is what they they mirrored it from somebody else. Like bro, that's so heavy. And you you learn that especially when you have children because you start seeing them mirror a lot of your uh your likeness, a lot of your characteristics. They they start mirroring that. And <laughs> it'll tell you who you are looking at them children, bro. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes, and, and this is what I had to learn, is it'll be certain things that I see in my son. And instead of badgering him because he didn't get it right or because he don't got it right, I look at myself and say, dang, where did he get that from? He got that from me. That means I need to get it right. I need to show him a better example so he don't have to replicate the, the wrongdoing. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, bro, he's spinning. You know what I'm saying? He is spinning. Finally, finally in your will. Finally, finally in your will. Finally, 
finally, finally. <laughs> because I'm a man doesn't mean I'm superior. Yeah. Because she a woman don't, don't mean she's ulterior. Yeah. Because they a child doesn't mean they're voiceless. Everything your child does reflects you, they mirror us. The household dynamic is Satan's target. Once he finds the Bless. crack in your union, he'll mark it. The house mm. that prays together is so guarded. The house mm. that doesn't will soon come falling. You'll find that y'all arguing, pride will enlarge you. A simple Ooh. discussion will turn to a park, so the spirit will mm. flee. And now everything's calm. A simple discussion will turn to a part in like bro that's that's so real man it's a lot of lessons i had to learn bro i ain't gonna lie it's a lot of lessons i had to learn especially like about within my marriage you know what i'm saying i had to learn that like especially us men we gotta learn how to be bigger men and take a conversation that if we don't if we don't if we don't control the conversation to the point where we are instead of trying to fight back and forth, but trying to actually resolve the issue, them, them issues going to turn into some, some way of parting ways, bro. Like one of, uh, one of the two parties have to be humble enough to say, Hey, this is not about neither one of us. This is about what we need to fix. And I don't think that, I don't think that that, that is an easy task, but it's a necessary task that we definitely need to practice. Definitely need to practice that. The mean they're voiceless. Everything your child does reflects who they mirror. The household dynamic is Satan's target. Once he finds the crack in your union, he'll mark it. The house that prays together is so guarded. The house that doesn't will soon come falling. You'll find that y'all arguing. Pride will enlarge you. A simple discussion will turn to a part. So the spirit will flee, and now everything's carnal. But prayer will arm you. Prayer will arm you. The two must be in agreement and sober. If not, then it's over. If not, then it's over. I also like how the chorus is like what what he's rapping about in the songs is like this is the wheel like I'm finally in your wheel rather than than doing the worldly things I'm finally in the wheel that you wanted us to do so that's how finally finally in your wheel finally finally in your wheel As I reflect on the song you just sent me, it just made me think that, you know, I am currently finally in the most high will. Mm. I finally lined myself up in his will. So now everything that I desire and everything that I'm praying for, everything that I ever wanted, is lining up and it's making sense. Right. You know, see, I had to go through the feds. I had to go through that journey. I had yeah. to go sit down. But now I'm finally here. I'm gonna take advantage of it. Oh, praise. So I'm gonna just keep it on with everybody out there, you know? Make sure your will line up with your father's will. Mm. And everything just don't flow fluently for you. It's gonna be so fluent. Can't nobody stop it. You can't even stop it. You lined up with his will. Right. Don't fight against it, though. I'm afraid to be a Jonah. But now it all makes sense to me. The song is fully free. Hey, this is, I, you know what, what also is so fire about the song because he's obviously, um, he sent him this song and while he was pretty much detained, you know what I'm saying? And he realized like, dang, I, this is talking to me. And this is what I'm talking about as far as the music goes. Like when you have these songs, like people can feel these songs like it's a spirit behind these songs you know what i'm saying that get our people to humble down like you said as i was sat here and reflected on this song that you sent me i realized that i am finally in his will i am finally realizing that all of the other stuff that i was doing wasn't wasn't aligning with his will and that's why i had to get set down that's why i had to pretty much go and and, and endure the things that i'm enduring now you know what i'm saying so yeah, man, you just like you just don't know who the who the music gonna touch, bro. You know what I'm saying? But all praises to the most high for that.